Eric Sky coming at you again uh, for another 30 day guitar challenge. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, creative process and um, the challenge would be to go out and um, maybe do some Googling and some reading and, uh, you know, study the creative process. So uh, I'm kind of a process nerd. I'm always interested in um, how other people work and other creative people. I was thinking that um, there's a great guitar magazine called Just Jazz Guitar, if you're into jazz guitar. Um, I think it's a quarterly publication. It's a big, thick thing. It's almost impossible to get through in one quarter or even one year, but it, it's really great. And um, it used to be that there, there, there was at least one writer, that whoever the featured you know, artist was, they always seem to start the interview with the same question. And the question is, uh, what is going through your mind when you're playing all the things you are? That's a just super common jazz standard. And most, you know, jazz musicians would, would have some, something to say about that. And, uh, I've always thought that they could make a great book, you know, with that as the title and then just have all the answers they've gotten over the years. And it's fascinating. You can see how different people think, you know, some people will say something just really kind of abstract, like, you know, I think about the color purple or something. And someone else will have this sort of very detailed sort of analytical, well, the first chord is F minor. So I'm thinking about the notes A flat and, you know, et cetera. Um, you know, it's, it, my point isn't that any one of those things is the right thing, but it's just neat to, to go out and study the creative process and hear what everybody has to say and it can sort of influence how you work and it might give you some tips and things that you can try. Um, I remember many years ago in the early 80s, I had a girlfriend uh, whose mother gave me a book called The Artist's Way, which I think is a classic uh, book on this subject. And uh, not that I remember much about it, but I remember it got me sort of thinking about different um, little exercises that you can do. And I did a little quick search on the computer earlier and realized, God, there's so many uh, new books out like that, that it would really be worth maybe going to the library and, and checking them out. Um, and um, definitely that don't have to limit yourself to like guitar stuff or music stuff. Um, there's a lot of great writing books, um, elements of style. Um, any books about editing, I think are interesting to me because as I get older, I realize my creative process is about kind of taking away everything that isn't the tune, you know? Um, so just you know, editing, I guess. Um, and this is, I, I talked, when I talked about getting a teacher, you know, I, I, t I talked a lot about sort of, you know, maybe pinning down some of your favorite players or friends that are good players and stuff. And this is, you know, kind of dovetails with that. A lot of times when I'm hanging around with some of the great musicians I get to hang around with, I'll, I'll pop these questions, you know, that's it. What are you thinking about when you play this tune? Um, and, and push them a little bit and try to make it just a, a regular conversation. But I'm really interested in what people, um, what their process is. So um, anyway, that's your challenge for today is to think about the creative process and do a little studying. And I think you'll find like there's this whole world of sort of documented ideas and exercises out there. And uh, sooner or later, one of them is going to kind of jar you into a new way of thinking. And that's good. All right, good luck with that.